get a daily program on nifty bank nifty is dnr without further ado let's dive right into so before that let's just look at yesterday's thing see we were talking about this right <clears throat> ideally we don't we shouldn't trade till we find a breakout and uh, it's better to enter it at a lower level than to enter it now and wait for a breakout which might take time it might consolidate etc so yesterday when we were parting our plan was to buy on dips in case a good dip happens i don't know if this is the good dip or there is further left but ideally right <clears throat> if our view is that nifty will eventually break out probably it's better to wait for it than jump into this right now but this is where we stopped yesterday now let's look at what is happening today so i'll draw your attention to one thing because see today's daily chart nothing new has happened right in the sense that it has just dipped a little bit and now it might go further might not go further we don't know but here is the interesting thing if you look at the weekly chart of nifty there's a huge rejection week here which starts at around 17950 and goes till 18200 right so i would i would suppose that 18 right now starting from 18200 to 18000 could be a huge support zone zone of supply and if you find a positive price action happening here like a <clears throat> a bullish hammer or a harami or something happening then you should consider it as a reversal signal but till that point it doesn't make sense to jump into a long signals so what's the plan 18200 18 100 looks like a zone of support right so see for a what look for a reversal signal somewhere over here if you get it <clears throat> of course if the reversal signal does not come of it makes it more sense to be short but we are approaching a zone where there has been a huge rejection week which might act as a support now let's look at bank nifty <clears throat> bank nifty is again coming near that middle of the uh, channel let's just elongate it a little bit yeah i mean this is a touch and go uh, it seems like it's below but you know it's never one point it's a zone dollar we talked about it yesterday it's above the 50 dma and there's a possibility that it can go up further right so chart wise nifty uh, bank nifty everything looks like <clears throat> we have an 18200 support which we have to watch 18200 18000 ish support we have to watch uh, 18400 is a resistance which we are trying to break market might consolidate here now in open interest lot of call writing right this is undoubtedly a very bare looking market 20 million calls 4 million puts similarly pcr looks supremely bad 0.6 is very bearish indeed and but here's the catch 18300 is a proper support sorry resistance uske niche till 18000 it looks pretty empty right uh <laughs> sorry saying black head is railway to <laughs> सब्सक्राइब कर लो या मेबी संतोष इज सेइंग क्रूड ऑयल इज डाउन बाय 6 परसेंट या लेट्स जस्ट सी व्हाट आवर फ्रेंड्स इन एसजीएक्स इज डूइंग राइट बट देन दैट इज अगेन चीटिंग बिकॉज़ येस्टरडे वी डिड नॉट हैव या 80200 सीम्स टू बी हावरिंग अराउंड हियर नाउ लेट्स लुक एट ओपन इंटरेस्ट सो टुडेस एक्चुअली इज नेगेटिव सो बेसिकली व्हाट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इट मींस दैट यू कैन प्रोबब्ली थिंक ऑफ सेलिंग 18300 प्लस कॉल्स फॉर दिस एक्सपायरी because it's not going to break 18400 suddenly right but it's a little thoda aag se khelna but but let's see let's see if we can brave be brave about it right so this is one thing and finally looking at fi data sold 27000 calls bought 17000 puts both of them are negative uh, index futures 700 crores 800 crores sold negative stock futures 1500 crores 1600 crores negative so everything in fi data is negative so market looks uh bearish this is not a buying market market looks bearish uh right now support at 18000 possible so one brave thing you can do if you really want to take a trade right now that is is i would say so this is my suggestion not a recommendation matlab i i don't want to trade in this market i would just wait for a you know consolidation to play but if you really 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 have the you know itch of trading then there are two things we can do one is of course you can sell a spread 
right which is a bear call spread 18300 ce you can sell 18400 say you can cover risk reward of hmm, not very attractive because 1000 to 4000 but you can try this because 18300 seems like a support but if you see a sign of reversal this will be in threat and the other thing you can do of course is you can play a neutral iron condor and your strikes will be 18000 put sell and 18400 call sell and you can cover it with 17800 and 18600 this is a iron condor and the idea of course being that it is going to expire in between 18000 and 18400 but here isme maza nahi hai right in the sense that <clears throat> rr is not nice 1 is to 6 like 1500 rupees ke liye you are risking 8000 rupees but if you want to do something else then i can give you a better idea this is fir bhi okay right 1 is to 4 rr so basically how do you control this if you want a trade with good risk reward <clears throat> you basically do 7900 18500 100 point cover right so 18000 you sell 18400 you sell call and put then you cover it with 100 point away call and put now you have an end condor and this is 1000 to 4000 risk reward of 1 is to 4 roughly so the profit is only 1000 but if you decide to do in a wider iron condor your profit has gone up by 500 rupees but your loss has gone up by so much more right so i wouldn't suggest this for the simple reason that यार इसमें जॉय नहीं है बिकॉज कौन करता है यार वन इज टू सिक्स रिस्क रिवॉर्ड पे ट्रेड राइट दैट्स रियली स्टूपिड टू डू सो इफ यू वांट टू ट्रेड एंड इफ यू बिलीव दैट एटीन थाउजेंड एटीन फोर हंड्रेड इज वर द एक्सपायरी इज लाइकली टू हैपन दिस रेंज आई वुड सजेस्ट दिस माइट नॉट बी अ बैड आइडिया टू डू दिस ट्रेड राइट बट अगेन आई लाइक वर इज माय पर्सनल बायस कमिंग फ्रॉम आई थिंक एटीन थाउजेंड माइट होल्ड फॉर दिस एक्सपायरी and i don't think it is going to break 18400 achanak say in this expiry i think if it really settles down somewhere around 18000 we have a confirmation of this candle and we might see higher levels mm. so uh, long story short my hunch is that market will consolidate here before eventually breaking out right so if you don't want to trade you can choose not to trade but you can also do this iron condor right now somebody is asking please close the annoying trading view where is that oh yeah this sorry i'll close it sorry sorry okay let's see read more user comments abu is saying tomorrow rally yaar mere ko pata nahi why is there if i will day by day vice versa almost daily hmm. my video is flipped again really i don't Oh yeah, it is flipped. Okay. If you are <coughs> saying market is bearish, we should take a bear spread. One second, ah. Uh. Why is it that when FIS is DI, your DI is not? So this is an interesting question. So DI is not entirely DI; it is also mutual fund flows from retail investors, and um, that important distinction you have to understand. Mm. Let's look at USDNR long-term chart. Oh, USDNR weekly chart is a bearish, <coughs> bullish uh, piercing. So we might see dollar going <coughs> up now. Bullish piercing candle. We all know what that means. But here's the interesting thing: on monthlies, this is an interesting chart. I mean, this is not particularly anything. but weekly looks exciting on us dollar i'd say that uh, this is a possibility of dollar going up further right on weekly charts okay what is let me just quickly look at so verdict is trades here iron condor with 8900 18000 18400 8 is 18500 might be a trade and take if you really want to take a trade matlab karne ka koi matlab nahi hai this is time pass only because see there's no point in always trading something right it makes more sense to trade when there is big movement in the market that way i'm kind of a fan of taking a spread when a movement comes but this is like you know you're 
doing so much tension one is to three odds for like what some how much money is that hardly 1500 rupees per lot so i'm not a huge fan but if you want to take a trade and if you want to try stuff out you can take this trade and here's the sad part right i mean two and a half percent return that's not bad two and a half percent return in a week is not bad so maybe yeah this might make some sense so yeah this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips advice webinar seminar workshop any of that stuff this is just analysis so that you can also figure out how to do i mean if you go all technical about it the sebi ra regulations which governs us as we are an ra says that it is an advice if somebody says a buy sell level on a particular stock or instrument right but as long as you don't and but uh, if you are giving general directions about the market it is not you know covered under the ra license so which is why we stick to i mean although we are an ra i don't really want to <clears throat> put this under the ra and give you a research report i think also research reports need to be charged or something this is a free thing so i, I really don't want to get into the you know hassle of charging people for the sake of some rule there's some rule which says you can't do trial as an ra etc etc but anyway so which which is why we stick to this format also because it's very liquid nifty bank nifty usj and all right so just analysis so that you can figure out how to do this even if you don't watch this thing tomorrow okay on that note i'll take you leave again as usual i stay care and keep your capital safe bye